All right, disc golfers, this is Benny Baskets coming from Haverford Reserve in Haverford, Pennsylvania. Uh, this is an 18 hole golf course. Um, so, sorry about that. Um, yeah, again, stick around to the end of the video. Um, I will give you all the information uh, that you might need as far as, you know, ease of course, yada yada, all that fun stuff. So stick around at the end, you'll get all that. You'll get what else this area has to offer as far as this park. Um, until then, give this video a like and definitely subscribe to the channel. With that being said, let's get in it.
Alright folks, just finished up the course here at Haverford. Um, my overall impression of the course, it is a extremely tough course for beginners. Um, it's a real narrow thin line through forest, through trees. Um, there's not a lot of give, not a lot of leeway for mistakes or errors. Um, luckily right now it's uh, mid-October, so a lot of the thicker bushes and branches and stuff are dead and dying um, so when I did throw into the rough there into the weeds I was able to find a lot of my stuff um, I imagine in the summer it's, it's pretty brutal in there uh, overall it's a, it's a good course um, if you've been playing for a while that's my opinion my opinion alone um, I don't recommend it for beginners because there's not a lot of, as I said, room for error and there's not a lot of extra lines for hyzer shots or things like that. There's a lot of lines that are designated for left-handed or forehand players. Um, so right hand, backhand, it's tough unless you know how to flex the disc and, and do some uh, different shots. Um, the uh, tee pads, they are short um slippery asphalt or not asphalt uh the fake green grass stuff um it is very very tough to to run up on not that you really have to run up on a lot of these holes i think the furthest one was about 250 but it, it was still um sketchy uh say the least uh there are arrows on the basket or in the basket uh, so when you get to number one look in the basket itself you'll see like a brace looking thing uh, here's a picture of it that will show you where the next tee pad is so make sure you keep an eye on that uh, other signage make sure you look at trees um, it is amazing there there are i think three other hiking trails mixed in with the disc golf trail so make sure that you're looking at the trees where it says next tee or use a disc golf app uh, to help you guide uh, through the area uh, let's see what else um, if you are not good with hiking or walking uh, in elevation this will be a extremely tough course for you uh, just getting in you have to kind of climb down a not really a cliff i'm over exaggerating but it's pretty steep um, and then coming back up you have to walk probably about half a mile uphill so it's tough um, let's see what else uh, this park that I'm at seems to just have a soccer field uh, not really much here um, anyways uh, the disc golf course overall it's okay uh, again it's not for beginners um, yeah so come back give it a give it a shot and uh let me know what you think of it uh but as for now that's it so i will see you on the next course